Well, as kids head back to school, a lot of them are picking out backpacks based on characters. They want to have Minions or Star Wars carrying around. But parents, are you making sure that those backpacks are best for their little bodies? Physical therapist Karina Wu is here with some important information to help parents and kids find the right fit. Good morning. Good morning. The timing couldn't be better, Thank right? You. And everyone's yes. going to be shopping maybe tomorrow to get that backpack. I just bought my son uh, I bought his backpack last week, got a big one like that. So I think I did the right thing. Okay. But a lot of parents do make mistakes, and largely because the kids are saying, I want this. Frozen. Yes, I want frozen. So why don't you give us a, a, an idea? We all know that heavy backpacks are a big issue. And, you know, we've been going back and forth with teachers. Don't give homework on the same day. But unfortunately, kids have to carry what they have to carry. So what's the best way for them to do so? So you want to try to accommodate your child because you want to try to pick something that's more functional and not fashion based. So okay. the fashion ones are cute, but they're just one big sack. So right. you can't really organize it. So it's always better to have a backpack that's got multiple compartments mm -hmm. so that you can distribute the weight in the pack. You want to make sure that the heavier items sit closer to your back to the body. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that you have less forces pulling the child down and backwards. And I guess when you talk about one big sack, you're just throwing everything in there and there's no equal distribution of anything, right? Exactly. I mean, like, I mean they're cute, you know, but, but you said function over fashion. Function over fashion. Kids yeah. want frozen, kids want, you know, the minions. Mm -hmm. um, when they're a little bit older, they want the cool backpack, which is not the best constructed backpack. Mm -hmm. So things like well padded and contoured shoulder straps mm -hmm. are important because this is the point of contact. So you want to minimize that cutting into of the shoulders. Mm -hmm. uh, chest straps and waist straps are also really important to keep the back closer onto your back. You know, I often see kids, they'll use this part, but I rarely see them using the waist part here. Right? Let's see what Let's see what Ganbe has. Yep. Hi, Ganbe. Good morning to you. This is Ganbe Sinclair, and he's going to show us the proper way to wear a backpack, right? So, so, go ahead. This is the issue, is that once this pack is full, it's going to pull him down and back. So, naturally, he's going to try to pull himself forward. So, he's just, he's demonstrating the classic forward head and forward mm -hmm. shoulder posture. So, mm -hmm. he could have neck pain, shoulder pain, mid to low back pain. So, what, uh, what is, uh, we're, we're talking maybe 20% of a kid's weight, a backpack should weigh no more than what? 15 to 10 to 15 percent. 10 to 15 percent. Yep. Now, we know that's virtually impossible, especially with high school kids. Their books are like, you know, four inches thick. Try what to we keep do? things that you don't need at home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if anything, a rolling pack is good. A lot of you, schools forbid that, right? They yeah, do. Unfortunately. But also using both straps is important. Don't be the cool kid and With, just wear yeah, the one strap right, because it exactly. actually you know, it can just, make you just like lean yeah. to the left, right? It, or right. It, you know, it torques you out, so it's really not great. And then you hike up one shoulder, so again, you're going to change their posture. They're growing, they're developing. They don't have the muscle mass right. and the muscle tone, and they're too flexible, so they sit with bad posture. Point well taken. And speaking of muscle and muscle tone, uh, can, are there any exercises that kids can do? Core strengthening the core? I mean, you know, we know kids like to ride bikes and play basketball, but, you know, if you get them into a little yoga or Pilates or something to strengthen the abdomen and the core, can that help? Yes, absolutely. You always, the posture comes from the core, mm -hmm. so your deep abdominal your low back and your hips is actually the foundation of your body. So you want to make sure they're strong there. My godsons are still, you know, they're very weak. They're really tight because they sit all day. Mm -hmm. They do PE only if the school offers it. Right, exactly. Right? Right. So you want to make sure that they're doing, you know, sports and also different sports. Don't just do one sport. Mm -hmm. So it's important to keep them strong and then also correct their posture. Don't let them get away with slouch sitting. Yeah, that's a good one. Gong baby slouch? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, your godmom's not having that. Anyway, a few sit-ups wouldn't help, uh, wouldn't hurt either, right? I mean, no. for 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 a kid. Yep. Um, you know, you you talk about the the benefits of of the um, the the double straps here, right? Yes. So when you're using these, you say keep the heavier books close to the, to the body, but what do you do when you have all that excess stuff? When I mean, is it okay to carry something to balance yourself out? A couple of books in your arms and maybe the rest in your backpack? Absolutely. Okay. You see how this is fraying already? Yeah. It's pulling off of his back. The sack is so heavy. And he actually told me his pack is at least 30 pounds. My, yeah. My son's weighed 53 one day. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's That's not good. I, t I took stuff out. Adults right. don't carry that much weight around. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, thank you so much, Karina. We'll, Thank you so much, Gombe, for coming in, and happy first day of school on Tuesday, unless you've already started. Tuesday. Tuesday. All right. Happy <laughs> first day of school. Thank you so much for your demonstrations, and thank you for your help, and you. we're coming right back.